Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today I've got a very special treat for you. Uh, long story short, a few weeks ago I was uh, contacted by someone who is the marketing person for Onkama, and she mentioned that there was a game that two of their employees created in their spare time called Super Nano Blaster, and that just released on Steam today. Um, and I was really intrigued to check this out and from the moment I jumped in, I was just blown away by how polished everything looked and felt and sounded even. Um, and I was just really, really excited to explore a lot of these really neat elements that they've thrown into the mix. This isn't going to be a very in-depth video uh, due to current time constraints and whatnot, but I will go over a few things that uh, I feel are like the main highlights that I really enjoyed. And uh, we'll just touch on a few bits and pieces of gameplay from different stages, mainly the first stage and then um, one of the later stages as well. So anyway, the whole idea behind this one is that you have two dimensional layers and you can switch between one or the other at any time you want, as long as you have the space to do so. So when you're on the color of ground, like over top of the uh, like beige grayish color, you can switch. If there's like a, a darker section, that usually means that on the opposite side, there's something obstructing the path, so you can't do that. Um, so what's really neat about this is you can see the shadows of enemy projectiles and the positions of enemies when they are on the opposite side of like the dimensional layer. And so you can always track where things are, what's coming at you, where things are traveling, all that kind of stuff. And I think that's a really cool feature. I've never seen that in a, a shmup before. And it's really neat just being able to use the teleport as a way to just completely avoid certain shots. But it's not as easy as like, oh, okay, I just vanish and like it takes no effort. Uh, because obviously on the flip side, you might have things that are crisscrossing or enemies that are approaching, all that kind of stuff. So it creates a really interesting dynamic because you've really, really got to be paying attention. There are plenty of times where I have just been completely toasted because, uh, yeah, I was just not paying attention uh, as I was learning, of course. Uh, I have gone through the game once fully and I've just been really enjoying it. So anyway, it, here and there, obviously, obviously, you'll see like little windows where you can switch. Um, I'll just go over some of the, the basics. Uh, you have, in terms of the difficulty modes, you have easy, normal, hard, expert, and black hole. And then you have like a story mode, which I'm currently playing right now, and then infinity mode. I have not checked that out myself yet. Uh, I don't think I've even unlocked that, I'm not sure uh, what the specifics are there. But there are eight ships you can play with that you can unlock as you progress through the game and whatnot. And what I really find interesting is that, and I enjoy it in this game, it's really cool, is that as you go through the stage, there are different parts of each level where you can switch to a different ship. Whichever ones you have unlocked, it kind of like flickers through the choices and you can just pick whatever ship you want. So I really enjoy that because if there's one section where you specifically want like a spread shot and then you know you're coming up to the boss where you're going to want something more concentrated just shooting straight forward then you have that kind of flexibility and I think that's really really cool. Um, in terms of the menus and all that kind of stuff everything feels so polished like the sound effects like just everything. The music in this game is fantastic as well. I really enjoy it and I just love in general, just the look and feel of this game. It's got some really cool creativity thrown into it. So here's the first boss. There is a, a sort of tutorial stage. I skipped that one, so I'm just jumping into uh, yeah this level here. But um, yeah, so as you can see, like obviously I'm shooting the glowing squares. And then as soon as I flip to the other side, those new ones will start attacking. So... And honestly, like, this game's difficulty ramps up so nicely, and things, like, every time I would get to a new stage, I would be blown away 
by the creativity they threw into the boss fights or just the the different elements thrown into stages like sometimes you have um, levels where you have to be hitting switches on either side to open a gate before the the level scrolls too far and you get crushed or you're moving along with moving blocks uh, to avoid being crushed and just all sorts of different stuff like it's just oh it's it, it was honestly a delight to check this out and some of the bosses have thrown in different attacks that are just super super cool and challenging to deal with um, so obviously I'm not gonna showcase a ton of that kind of stuff here but if you're at all intrigued then please check this out because I, I really think this is such a cool game and oh, the visuals like even the explosion and the music just everything is so fantastic so yeah it's just amazing stuff um, I'm just going over a few notes here so just bear with me um, da -da 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 -da. I thought about uh, recording my commentary while playing but I figured that might be a little too hectic because of just how much you've got to pay attention so I decided to just record first and then put my my chit chat over top of that um, but yeah, there's, there are sections um, as well, like just going back to the topic of uh, like obstacles and things you want to avoid. Um, things where there are like wall sections moving and it creates a spot where it's like, okay, you can teleport in a tiny square, but then you got to be paying attention to the flip side wall section that's also turning because you can see the shadow, of course. So you got to make sure you're like, paying attention to all these different things just to navigate the stage. In ways, it feels majorly like a puzzle game. Um, and I think, like, not everyone's going to be into that, but for those who do like to kind of piece together more of the, the maneuvering kind of approach, then this is going to be right up your alley because there are some very, very challenging sections. And I only played on normal, so I love that attack there. You have those like bombs that go off and in like a square explosion. I think that's so cool. And then just the enemy variety. You have boatloads of different enemies, and I just love some of these huge tanks, huge turrets, all that kind of stuff. Enemies that chase after you. Um, just a wide range of attacks to get used to. It's so cool. And, oh yeah, of course, we have the overclock ready. That's kind of like a hyper mode, uh, where you just have, like, each each weapon has its own different kind of blast that it will give off. But it's just essentially like a hypercharged rapid shot sort of, sort of situation. So yeah, we're just going to be showcasing a little more here. Um, this is actually the final stage, or at least what I am aware is the final stage. Maybe there's like an unlockable something if you perform well enough or something i'm not sure but uh yeah i think it's oh this is just chock full of incredible features and gameplay and the controls like even the controls are solid um i i don't really ever touch computer gaming period and like but i do have a controller and uh just hooked up and everything felt really great and i did a bit of experimenting with playing with uh, the keyboard as well and that was great too no issues there whatsoever so all in all i'm very impressed i know my my buddy vinu schmups from france uh is aiming to do a little more in-depth info about this game in the next week or so um and i think as far as i know he's aiming to do some english subtitles so I'll probably, yeah, what I'll do is I'll leave his link in the description in case anybody wants to, yeah, subscribe, show their support to him and check that out whenever it's ready. I know he has a busy schedule too, so he'll do what he can, but yeah, he does all sorts of reviews and things like that, so yeah. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave off for now. I, I was very tempted to show a lot more of the stages and especially the bosses but I don't want to ruin too much of the surprise because figuring out how to take some of these bosses down is kind of tricky but I will say that one of my favorites is not only the the final boss but there's like this wicked snake boss where you're going up, up against these snakes and 
you've yeah you just got to do certain things to get rid of them and it's just really really cool i'm very very impressed with this game and perhaps if the steam version does well enough we might even be able to see like something like a yeah switch like console versions that would be awesome but uh yeah anyway thank you so much for, for watching everybody i really appreciate you taking the time to check this out with me and let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, like i said it's on steam today so if you want to check that out please do and have a blast with it thanks again and we will see you next time